Brakte Hawa, Brakte Hawa Shai, Brakte Hawa, Brakte Hawa Shai, Call Hala, you will Hawa, Alahina, Yahaba Shima Shai, Bishop Kakadash. Bless you, Yahaba. Bless you in the name of the Holy God and Son, Yahaba Shai, in the name of the Spirit Holy. And of course, giving double honors to the elder apostles, the elder bishops, a great millstone. Well, well, peace and salutation to the election. Shemiah Mafan is a Mafpa from the Great Millstone Plain Tables Camp, located here in the city of Philadelphia. I want another wee lesson. Of course, Yahweh being the true, almighty, and powerful name of the Heavenly Father from the world, ignorant calls Jehovah God uh, amongst many titles. All right, Yahweh. The true name is Yahweh, which means he is, a, he is or he exists or he to be. Yahweh Shai is the only begotten son's name in Hebrew. Of the Heavenly Father's only begotten Son, whom the word ethnic calls Yeshua and, um, yeah, uh, what is it? Uh, I think it's like, uh, damn, I forget the other, it's like, it's Yiddish. Um, Yeshua, something like that. Um, <clears throat> and Jesus, you know, but the true name is Yahweh Shai, which means he's the deliverer. He's the deliverer for the nation of Israel. Nation of Israel consists of so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. And since our sea has been scattered across the four winds, you have um, Israelite foreigners, you know, uh, you know, looking like heathen nations, but lineage going back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, which we try to spirit by the spirit, whether we are children of the Most High. It's the spirit that bear witness in our spirit that we are children of the Most High. All right, the Lord's words, their spirit, and their life. So. Um, I'm the brother Mappa from Great Millstone Playing Tables Camp in Philly. Just again reintroducing and explaining myself at the beginning of the video. So those that don't know the Hebrew and don't know or know familiar would be f familiar now with what I'm saying and such. All right. So and this is just a, a video due to spirit. Um, yesterday I actually was. Um, and there's this page that I, I watch. Um, it's called. Drew's abandoned paranormal vlog and um, actually learned of this page uh, via another person which this particular witch she's actually a witch or a shop she's affiliated with this other um, this other individual who used to go by lost Scotsman and the guy lost Scotsman and he I, I believe he no longer has that that channel name um, but, um, you know, he used to be going into, like, conspiracies and, you know, things of that nature and, you know, going into different, um, information about the government and different geopolitical, um, information, you know, that's no, um, told to, you know, in the mainstream and such, uh, but then, you know, it just goes, you know, the, end up me finding out the guy he's pretty much delve delving in witchcraft and and also obviously uh you know I, I guess with this whole thing with her page which she's a she's an actual witch and he would be a witch too um but um you know they uh they got like a page and they you know dealing with all this par paranormal paranormal you know metaphysical going in like different places and uh, pretty much um, dealing with different spirits and stuff like that. All right, and they, uh, that's how I found found out about this uh, particular woman, which she's a witch in Scotland. Uh, her page, and such. Now, uh, yesterday, actually, um, and like she she goes into different little um, like if you check out some of her different videos, you know, she'll go into different subjects of uh, you know different um, like history. Uh, different places, you know, uh, like see Scottish witch trials and such and You know going in different things and such uh, some you know some of it, you know, uh, you know uh, you can pretty much you know, Be enlightened by in the sense of not being in ignorance of certain things. All right as the scriptures say uh, uh, Was it S says um, I have to get it be not ignorant in something small or great and such um, which I'm not telling you to learn witchcraft <laughs> what it is um, you know these certain of course uh, witches and, and such um, 
you know, they have certain obviously understandings and such. Um, you know, they believe in, of course, a spirit world, and they know about demons and spirits and such. But it's just that they're on the left hand side and such. But um, you know, we'll learn, of course, of different things these people do. All right, um, and obviously, you know, hey, we know not. You know today these things and such but we uh, are aware of things they do do and such you know on the left hand side all right uh, that's how we can go and you know of course teach against it of course um, you know certain you have different of our people that are actual <laughs> into that those lifestyles and such witchcrafts and stuff you know they may ask a question particularly about all right what about if can I do tarot cards and we're like no that's witchcraft and such and that's what these people deal with and such like that you know um, see they talking about Aleister Crowley which is a, a big major witch you know which uh, of course uh, many uh, even these different occultists which you know believe in a hidden different hidden left hand knowledge and uh, like these rappers they, they're following these different uh, occultists and such yeah, these different low-level witches and such. But, um, yeah, so how basically, my, you know, yesterday, this particular individual, she put up a community post, which she's a woman. She put up a community post, which she actually was, um, it was like complaining. And she was complaining about how um, with um, YouTube, like she got, as you can see, a thousand, was it like maybe like 1,200? Like she might got twelve hundred subscribers, one thousand, one two k subscribers, and she um, was complaining about how, um, like how it's hard work to be on YouTube. You know, she uh, was inspired, you know, and hype that she got to, um, you know, thousand subscribers, but then she's seeing how pretty much how unfruitful it is and such um you know that person they think that just because they got monetization with youtube and their youtube partner that apparently that means they equates to all right well big money and stuff like that and um hey you start to see it is no of course the case and then she, you know she's seeing pretty much like the trade-off between if she, the amount of time she's actually investing into YouTube, and she pretty much has to keep, like, as with YouTube, it's like you have to keep the momentum, keep pushing out content and such, and hoping that obviously the algorithms and, you know, A, do networking and such that, and <laughs> do Esau in general, that, you know, you, uh, you know, equates to getting. Um, AdSense revenue, you know, sponsors, etc. You know, she's seeing pretty much that uh, it's it's it was more than what she thought it to be, and it's it's not really what many people think it is, and such. Um, you know, you have to be, you know, loads of the time these bigger YouTubers that get millions of views and such certain amount of views for things to be profitable and such. Um, let me see if I can maybe possibly um, show that. Um, let me see something real quick. Uh, let me see if I can find something. And she was, it was so much, she was so depressed. It sounded like, it was just like a depressive rant and such. And uh, she actually take took it down and such, which I was going to, you know, basically show it. And um, the main point was like, yeah, you know, the witchcraft is pretty much unfruitful and that, you know, this is all just nothing but a spell. You know, you thinking that you're getting all this favor from the people, uh, you know, that's all. These people don't even really know you and such like because you know, really with her, she pretty much um, called these various chicks on her comic board sisters and such and. You know, they're into witchcraft too but it's like as as soon as they just pop on she giving them wrenches and such and they just apparently her sister and such and you know like, hey I even believe the chick that the chick is actually subscribed to my um, page and such you know and it's just like 
you know, she's <laughs> seems like just like a, a, a lost older woman um, looking for, uh, you know, really some type of joy. But, you know, hey, in Babylon the Great, all that joy is, is temporal and such. But um, let me just go over real quick. Uh, I'm glad the Lord showed me that too myself. Uh, so YouTube views and money. All right. So look at this. You be hearing like all these different YouTubers always say, oh, press like and subscribe. That's all they be saying, man. So it says, how many views do you need on YouTube to make money? The average YouTube channel can receive $18 per a 100 or 1,000 ad views, which equals about or around 3 to $5 per video view, according to data from influencer market hub the number of views views you get doesn't correlate to revenue earned okay now um let me see i want to see if i could possibly see like a graph or something like that some people break it down and such But um like a million views for twelve thousand or twelve or twelve hundred dollars or uh, yeah twelve let me see three hundred million views is three thousand and three hundred dollars look seven here how much money you can make you on youtube just check this out one k views a thousand views seven dollars ten ten k views seventy dollars hundred k views seven hundred dollars one million views seven thousand ten million views seventy thousand 1 million views, or 100 million views, 700,000, 1 billion views, um, damn, <laughs> yeah, so, that's what we're seeing, you know, I guess it could differ, but, you know, how many people are doing this and such, you know, and, and it's still, it's like, you have to abide by the various different views, or the various, um, different rules and YouTube uh, pushes and such and they're very very uh, stringent on things and they choose and they're, they're subjective with whom they choose to push and and uh, you know punish or or, or or progress you know to the forefront and such so uh, I'm just gonna get like a couple different scriptures just due to spirit you know um, you know maybe I'll hit um you know the lesson uh you know on the whole idolatry and witchcraft another time i'm just gonna hit it through the spirit what the spirit just want to give out and just go from there but you know loads of people they're just nothing but youtubers and like i say hey they really chasing money and such and they're a lot of times they're just miserable people you know they're uh miserable and we see Hebrew Israelites, they got actually some Hebrew Israelites, they're just nothing but YouTubers, just going for views and such, you know, validation, alright, so, uh, let me get this one preset. Put price, and you got all these different marketing schemes. You know, just like Instagram and such. Oh, you do this, uh, maybe it'll come viral on such. Well, it's just nothing but it's a, a scheme or a scam a lot of times. All right, so this is Ephesians chapter two. And two, it says, wearing. Times past, you walk according to the course of this world. The course of this world is in the form of wickedness, all right. Because those that are in rulership in their heaven right now are wicked. They're the Edomites, Esau, Edom. All right, they are the wicked. All right. 
It says, according to the prince of the power of the air, the spirit that now worketh in the children of disobedience. Okay. Uh, but according to the prince of the power of the air. Okay. Satan. All right. And it's uh, hey, man. You know, don't be. Don't, you can't be surprised that Satan has influence over what? <laughs> the, the media. All right. Uh, that's what's being projected out. You know, into um, your houses and such. What you can see. You know, it's uh it's heavy like like um you know uh I, I move from mod one dwelling you know and we know it get Wi Fi you know, it's just connected to Wi Fi. But I move from I noticed that when, since I moved from the one dwelling from my old apartment to this new apartment, it's a whole different reach, you know, of the different people whom I reach on YouTube. And I'm like, yeah, this is based on, it feels like it's based on that move and such. And E is controlling whom I'm reaching. And even in that, it's like a spell that too, because you don't never know who you're actually reaching and such. Because even, you know, loads of the time people don't even say anything. They be on there watching. You know, even Esau Edom himself is watching. All right. But. You know, us, you know, hey, being, you know, being all into seeking after the vanity of validation from the people. Oh, I got a, 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 I got success because I got um, a YouTube page that generating all of this money or got this amount of views. That's of the world and such. You know, and we, we, of course, know that in the truth because, hey, um. Our, our pages and such, our pages and such, you have many people, like, like I say, that are watching our pages, but he, he controls the viewer, viewer count, the viewership, okay, the analytics, what you can actually see, and, but we know, obviously, we're reaching people because people see us out in the cowboys and hedges, you know, all of a sudden, you go out, Ever, ever since we go out in the where we have been teaching, we see many people going by and honking their horns. When he was in the city, he wasn't they really like that. You know, many people, you know, they just drove by, they were looking Google, which people still Google and look at us and stuff. But, you know, you know, people, they're, they're watching and such. Okay? You know, and, um, yeah, we're made a spectacle and such. You know, but, and that's uh, just even knowing that, you know, we're just in this park and such, you know. <laughs> um, you know. You don't know who's watching, okay. You know, but people are watching, alright. But, um, I'm gonna go, uh, here. And get, uh. This other precept, you know, like I say, we all we all our mission or mission is to to, to reach the elect so they can be sealed, uh, so that we can get out of here. You know, the destruction be fully released. This is Proverbs chapter thirty one and, and thirty. It says, "Favor is deceitful and beauty is vain, but a woman that feared the Lord, she shall be praised." Right? That's what matters. If you women really want something. Hey, fear you, how about Shimei Shai via your man? All right, simple as that. Fear you, how about Shimei Shai via your man? Okay, fear you, how about Shimei Shai? All right, that's how you're gonna get, uh, of course, praise and such. Being a, a godly woman, you know, not as a witch, as uh, <laughs> as she go by Drew or whatever. Abandoned paranormal vlog. Okay. She learned this this basic kick concept. This would this would um you know free your mind. You know the truth shall make you free and such. Knowing the truths of these scriptures, you know, help you from a hey, being caught up within the various uh, cunningness of the devil and such. All right, because um, as it says, favor, which goes in yeah or favor. Okay, is deceitful, which basically goes into 
shakar, which mean a, a dece it could be a deception, a falsehood. Okay, we'll go into the word for shakar, which is falsehood or lie, or, or disappointment. Okay, a deception. What deceives or disappoints or betrays one? Right. You sitting there thinking that you got some hundred thousand subscribers, that everybody like you or something or that. All right, that equates to you having so much success on YouTube. Just because you can get monetization. I remember I was in the world. Monetization was open to me. And I didn't even have that those uh, amount of uh, subscribers and such like that. You know. But I you know, I was just like, why is YouTube looking at just me? Which, like I said, they're just looking at you people to make money off of. You know. Hey, he can even, without monetizing, monetization, could even run ads over our videos. Which would go against his policy because... The different people, it was a time in which they were talking about certain companies don't want their ads to be run over different uh, content, which they uh, viewed as being uh, promoting towards hate and uh, different discriminations and such. All right. But, you, but you know, them having a policy, they can run an ad over your, your stuff. You know, the devil... Is deceitful and a lie and a falsehood, and he, he breaks even his own rules. Okay, that's out of the wicked. All right, favor is deceitful and beauty is vain. All right, even a, hey, you know, beauty itself that's vain. Okay. Hey, like her, you know, she that chick, she got to put nothing but makeup on her face. You know, and um, <laughs> it's just um. And she put nothing but makeup on her face and such. And, hey, you know, probably, like I said, from what I saw, what I heard, she no like herself. And even the witchcraft and all that, that's no being a, a success to her at all. That's all failing, too. You know, because I seen, uh, pretty much what I saw was the same spirits that used to trouble me with um, when you uh, feel uh, like back, you know, you're trying to get um, some success within that realm. You, uh, you know, you end up seeing it's just fake. Like even the people that sit, claim they like you, they don't even know you, and but they'll be acting oh, I like you because of a certain position in which you're in. You got, like, say for example, I know he's he has a certain talent. All right, I give you a certain talent, a status. So then these people automatically are, are love bombing me, and that's witchcraft. You know, that that favor ain't really true. You know, because I end up seeing, hey, how many people are actually my friends know um, while I've been in this truth? I lost all my friends. I only have the brothers in, in this truth, okay? People that literally would call me right-hand mind and all this and love you, brother, and all, they're no here. So favor is deceitful, and that, that goes and disproves that. They, they departed in my adversity. All right. Favor is deceitful and beauty is vain, but a woman that feared the Lord shall be she shall be praised. All right, another scripture. Uh, I forgot to get the one. Don't be ignorant of something small or great, but it, it, it is. Uh, you no know, brothers can get that. I think it's in Sir Rock, the third chapter. I'm try to get it, but. And I'm gonna read it off my um, physical scriptures. I don't want to write this, uh, of course. Another good precept. Uh, uh, the Sirach chapter 
three. I'm gonna read this real quick. Three and twenty-four. For many are deceived by their own vain opinion, and an evil suspicion have overthrown their judgment. Judgment. All right. Many are deceived by their own vain opinion. You know, and a. Hey, I'm pretty sure her trust in her heart. You know, um, and many people that trust in. Oh yeah, I'm doing it right. Hey, that's deceptive. Like I said, you could push so many videos on YouTube and still, if YouTube don't want to actually push you, your, their algos to, you know, whatever to talk, you know, hey, you know, you, you'll just still be pushing and, and, you know, you'll be limited. You know, I've seen people who had the same quality and better than you know, top artists and stuff, and I'm like, you'll be like, why, how come they're not at the top, well, hey, Prince of Paradise is controlling Satan, you know, you're controlling that reach, and such, and it's no, if you learn anything about the entertainment industry, it's no about really the, um, the actual uh, talent you got and such, you know, hey, it's really the control you know, that they got over these individuals and, um, you know, and the obedience they given to these different idols and such, you know, because you got many of these people, they're not even top talent and you see them with money and, and, and fame and such, a name, all right, and they're just really shite, you know, shite people and such, which, I, like I said, aside of the, uh, the witchcraft that chick actually does, uh, I believe she might even be an Israelite, you know, um, in Scotland and such. Uh, she got a pretty lively spirit and such, but, um, you know, she just into witchcraft. She made, yeah, like I said, she looked like an Edomite. She got a lively spirit, though. But, it, yeah, you know, she might, might be Israelite, you know, but, and, you know, she, like I said, suffering certain, certain these curses and such, too. Like, she's <laughs> complaining about no having much money and, you know, uh, kind of like a, you know, like, didn't have that much money. She's banking on having such money. They had to do this to get, borrow some money from somebody else just to be able to make it, to eat, you know. Yeah, I believe she most likely is an Israelite, to be honest. You know, the chick uh, drew Abandoned Paranormal Vlog. You know, uh, along with many other Scots, you know, but, um. Yeah, uh, but she wicked, man, you know, probably the Lord's gonna destroy her, <laughs> you know, but she, like I said, she does watch, or have, I'm not sure if she watched my videos before, but she do know of my page, and such, uh, she, you know, I'm, she subscribed to it, but, like I say, say if me, I'm, could be deceived if I, if I followed after, oh yeah, I got this person here, um, following my page. Oh, man, I must be doing something right. No, that's deceptive. This chick, like I said, you gotta think. Just trying to heap up friends to get to network and reach, and, you know, and get her YouTube so that she can, you know, I get feel successful or something, you know? But, hey, you know, she's wicked, all right? Now, um... I gotta find that don't be ignorant small the great but like I said there's no um it's not really uh the main point of this pre this uh lesson this more so is uh going this lesson is more uh in uh fashion of this world and no going after it and um us as Israelites and also that why would you follow a world that's uh gonna be destroyed anyway okay this whole image of this world is, is gonna be destroyed Okay. So I'm going to get that. And that pretty much would be the end of the lesson through the spirit. Cause, you know, hey, Lord, send the lesson a whole nother plate way. Uh, 1 Corinthians 7 31. Uh, it says, And they that use the world as not abusing it for the fashion of this world passes away. I said, many people can abuse the vanity, you know, that they get from YouTube and such. You know, uh, from that 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 rush they get from having people on the comment boards and and you know you, they uh, oh you know I got all these likes and such and then people sent me super chat money and P 
people sent money to my PayPal and such. So you gotta be careful uh, and weary of these things and such. You know, like I said, so, like tell, scriptures tell you have a gift destroyed the heart. Even YouTube himself used that for their own, you know, use. You know, Esau knows the scriptures too. You know, he knows how to deceive. Okay, of course, him being a witch himself, chief. All right, so let me see if I can get this other precept in the cross references if it comes up. This is good right here. First Timothy chapter six and seventeen. That's another good preset right there. Luke twenty one and thirty four. All right. Instructions to those that minister. Charge them or order them that are rich in this world that they be not high minded, nor trust in uncertain riches, but in living, but in the living power. All right. We're supposed to trust in the Most High Yahweh Shimei Shai. Who giveth us richly all things to enjoy. Okay. That they do good. That they be rich in good works. Ready to distribute. Willing to communicate. Weighing up in store for themselves a good foundation against the time to come. That they may hold, lay hold on eternal life. Right. And that's what we're building up. These good works and that we're distributing. Willing to communicate. You know, and share. That's that have laid up a good foundation for us. You know, because, hey, all of that has, uh, hey, it laid up a defense, a, a steady, you know, place in Yahweh by Shemel Shai. You know, and we can count on that defense, that Magan, you know, that was the, that was put, uh, you know, we're, we have them principles. Okay. These other people, they don't have that foundation. They got their foundation in, in idols and such. All right, this idol is going to give me abundance. You know, come on, dude. That's limited. We're dealing with getting eternal life. You know, riches that doth not um, perish and, and corrupt, uh, it'd be incorruptible. Okay? So, you, yeah, charge them that are rich in this world that they be not high-minded. Okay, so I'm going to look into that word for high-minded. Okay, maybe it means heady. Alright, we got... Hypocertion. Hoop. Se lo frio. Ejo. Ejo. Pardon my Greek, which means to be proud. Arrogant, lawfully in mind. Okay, you're not supposed to be like that. You know, simple as that. I believe it's simple as that. So, let me see if I can get that Luke 21 as well, and then that be pretty much the lesson to the spirit. You know, we're not YouTubers. Or prophets of Yahweh by Shemel Shai on YouTube using it for the purpose that the Lord intended it to be for. You know, for this work to be propagated in two to four winds on the heavy lifting so that we can reach the elect. Alright? We don't have to go to go across seas and all of that on an actual boat like in times past to spread the gospel. These video epistles are accessed via the um the unicorn okay the internet all right getting these signals you know the world wide web and hey you know the elect is getting it and waking up all right so this is luke chapter 21 and uh 34 really good precept right here And it says, uh, 
Actually, I'm going to start at verse 21. It says, uh, 33 part, and it says, Heaven and earth shall pass away, but my word shall not pass away. And this rulership, you know, is going to pass away. All right? You know, certain parts of Babylon, right? Well, Babylon is going to be destroyed. Okay. It's going to be an example. Okay, but you got other places that's, uh, you know, the earth abided forever. But this whole fashion. The rulership, all right, that's, hey, this place is going to be renewed, all right, but the words of the Lord shall not pass away, they're forever, all right, it says, and take heed to yourselves, lest at any time your hearts or your mind be overcharged with surfeiting and drunkenness in the cares of this life, and so that they come upon you unawares, right, because you're in to the surfighting and the drunkenness, all right, and which we'll go into the two terms for being for uh, surfighting and drunkenness, not being in your right mind and such, no sober minded. Uh, surfighting goes into the uh, uh, yeah, you know, being basically, yeah, you mean you taking too much in. Of, uh, like I said, it says, like, basically the drinking, the, the giddiness and headache caused by the drinking of wine to excess and such. You know, in which you take in too much of the philosophies of this world, all right, and that destroy you. Okay, simple as that. Okay. You know, different philosophies. Oh, you could be anything you want to be, you know. You can make it to the top. Overcharge means a weigh down, all right, a burden, all right, don't burden yourself in the philosophies of this world, okay, You're seeking after validation from the general public, the masses, when the, the masses, like I said, these people believe in all sorts of madness, all right, which are no profitable, all right, the cares, and the cares of this life, all right, I'm worrying about how many views I got today, my YouTube page isn't growing, you know, hey, I hit a thousand subscribers quite a bit ago, um, but um, I never used it as, oh, yeah, um, okay, since I didn't make, I'm like, I only made, I think it's like 1,100 maybe right now. I got to double check, but I'm not worried about that number and such. I just put it in my videos, you know, brothers, they may share it, you know, and, um, you know, uh, post you know, brothers may know of me and such, but like I said, I, I'm more worried about them knowing Yahweh by Shemel Shai. And it, of course, benefiting them within them seeing and obtaining salvation. Okay, that's what I care about. You know, I don't really, no worried about, you know, uh, you know, really <laughs> me being like this bigger, you know, Oh, I got this YouTube, but every day I get all these different views. I'm no worry about that. I just pretty much do the video and, and, and shut the laptop, go back and study and do whatever else uh, within my liberty, you know. But it's revolved around just doing the work. You know, that's what I care about. I'm not worried about the growth of my page. I know the door is growing and building, edifying the elect, all right? His void doesn't come back. His word doesn't know. Come, doesn't it go go um or come back void? All right, it's prosper or advance into where that which it's uh, supposed to. All right. Yeah, man. And as the scriptures say, for as a snare shall it come on all of them that dwell on the face of the whole world. Yeah, people are that haven't they been looking for Yahweh Shai to come back? Yahweh Shai gonna come back. And these people are going to be, oh, I, I, you know, like, like I said, you got all the biblical signs, you know, the prophecies that were in the end times. But you got people sitting there worried about viewer counts and, oh, I only made like $13 and they want to tax me on that. You, you should know you're dealing with Satan. <laughs> you should have knew what this was, you know. But like I said, lo loads of people be ignorant. You know, and be pipe dreaming when it comes to this YouTube. And like, like I said, mo YouTube is oversaturated, you know, with uh, with so much on it. You know, most people, they just seem like 
a hundred other people doing the same thing. Like I see mainly people got the same setup. They just set up a damn a studio in a room, and they just you know they said apparently because they got a YouTube page there, these professionals and such. You know what I mean? It's like like <sighs> it's really carnal. So all right, that's it. The the, the spirit, you know. Watch out for that YouTube spirit. Don't get caught up, you know, in that YouTube spirit. You know, uh, you know just uh, focus on your how about shit, Remember, our mission as prophets, you know, is, um, you know, hey, a revelation. You know, go out there, you know, bid them to the marriage. You know, we, we, what we are looking about is, you know, the fulfillment of Revelation chapter 7. 1, it says, And after these things I saw four angels standing on the four corners of the earth, holding the four winds of the earth, that the wind not blow on the earth, nor on the sea, nor on any tree. And I saw another angel ascending from the east, having a seal of the living power, and he cried with a loud voice to the four angels. To whom it was given to hurt the earth and the sea, saying, Hurt not the earth, neither the sea, nor the trees, till we have sealed the servants of our God, our power, in their foreheads. Okay? That's all what we're working towards. Sealing the elect, the destruction coming, Yahweh Shai coming back. Us enduring, obviously, do the tribulation, the dick of trouble. Alright, me being on YouTube, and like I said, you got like many people that claim to be obviously woke and enlightened, and the Lord's still gonna destroy. <laughs> you know, they're not right with you. How about Shemel Shai? You know, so we know our mission. All praises to you. How about Shemel Shai? All praises to you. How about Shemel Shai? Call all you might. How about Shemel Shai? Shemel Kadesh. The blind said the elder apostles, great millstone. The, pop, the elder apostles, great millstone. The other bishops. Peace and salutations to you, like Shalom to the next lesson.